pass and see if anything else pops up. I don't think anything will. But they will in a second, because I have some more stuff to do. I just have to get some elements from Conda first. Yep, as I suspected. Just gotta go talk to Conda. Yep, go to Sindane Station. Talk, talk, talk to Conda, talk, talk, talk to Conda, talk, talk, talk to Conda. Talk to Conda. Still clearing those boulders away, huh? How's that going? I'm a douche. Go inside. Someone is either having extreme car troubles outside, or they're stripping the hell out of some screws. I'm gonna go with the ladder. I need a few of these. A few, like, 30 or 40 of these, but four, just 20 will be good for now. Uh, I need some more of these. Probably need some rocks. We got six. That way we have ten. Um, I don't think I need gunpowder, but actually, do I have anything to sell? I probably do. I could sell the Gladius, but mm, it's not a whole lot of point to it. There we go. That's a good amount of money. Uh, Alright, let's go talk to Stuart real quick, because he's in a very far away place in Palm Brinks. So, yeah. Do we have to level up any sword twice to get Melina, or is it specifically the Gladius? I think it's any sword, but I'll check my notebook real quick. Let's see. Portrait of a Bride? Oh, the gold paint, mark of business, chestnuts, rare flowers, the auction, scrape some money together, I can do, I already got that. Palm Brink's mad dash. Run the shortest distance to get a good time, yeah, I know that. Uh, develop our swords, don't know if I can do it, that's obviously for her. Monica, Melina's a sword master, so we should be worried about our own skill. We must show our strength. Getting father's approval, the impossible safe. Catch up, then pass me. Oh. Yeah, the fishing thing. Mind to mind. Oh, Rosa. Yeah, there's what? One, two, three. There's only three people we haven't gotten so far. I know exactly who they are, too. So. Uh, we could refill the ride pod, but there's not much point to it, because uh, Cedric can do it for us. Uh, let's go talk to Melaine real quick, just to see if she'll tell us if it was one level or two. Oh, wait, that's the wrong house. Whoops. Not the right house, genius. That's Melaine's store. Because, I don't know if you remember, but Melaine needs to live in, in Sindane as well. I don't know why Melaine needs to live there. My friend. Oh, right. Be my friend. What sort of sword is that? So it was all just talk. Get out of here, you're just getting in the way. Oh, yep, two levels. Has to be two levels. Either that or I actually do have to level up the Gladius, in which case I should probably switch weapons. We'll level up the sword she has right now one more time, then we'll check. So let's just run over to, over to uh, this place real quick. house. Because Stuart should be sitting right inside the door. Well, not sitting, but standing. That dude stands there all day. That's gotta suck.
Because I wonder what he says to Monica. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks this, but something about you reminds me of Elena. I don't know what it is, but you have a certain quality that seems different to other people in this town. You won't believe this. The price has gone up to 1,200 gold. I'm terribly sorry, but could you possibly get a hold of 1,500 gold? Don't I have 1,500? I have 2,000, dude. Take it. This is terrible. There's someone who'll pay 18... So did you manage to gather my 2,000 guilders? What can I do? It's yours. Thank you so much. I'll get straight down to the auction. And now he's gone! Dun -dun 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 -dun. I don't know if we just go in and come back out, or go out then come back in, if that'll be enough to reset him, but... Oh, clicked over to nighttime. I know, because the lights are all on now. Yep, he's back. Thank you very much. I managed to make a successful bid. I bid strong, and everyone else dropped out really quickly, so I got it for 1,400 Gilda. Really? I, d what? I don't know. I put you in a lot of trouble, or pay the favor anytime. Stewart has joined your party. Guess what? He's now on the train. Move. Back to Sindane. 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 All right. I'm probably gonna need more logs. Ooh, Jesus. Lots of burping here. Where's the bridge? Hill. There's a great view from the top. Hmm. Where's the wooden bridge? There it is. Duh, it starts with W. See, I could just fly over this, or I could go around, but... What's the point in doing that when you can just make a bridge? And go right down the middle. You can't actually make a bridge. I think there's just trees in the way. Yep, trees in the way. Uh, let's see. If I make... Where is it? Damn it, I hate I need to clean that up every time. Wooden house. I don't even have enough logs to make that. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna need at least two of those houses, so. That's roughly 40-ish logs. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna go get some logs and I'll be right back. And I'm back with more dead dead videos? More dead videos, yep. Well, more Dark Cloud 2. And I have enough of these to make two houses. Yay! Let's play some houses, shall we? Uh, let's see, let's just plop this down in this corner over here. And we'll put this one next to it. And, you know, I guess we could move Gordon over there, but... I don't know. Uh, yes. So... Now, we just have to ask them what they want, uh, and move people in. So if we put Adele in here, she'll just go right in without anything needing to happen. However, Aunt Polly, who we also know need, needs to go in here, as well as Melane. I forgot Melane. God damn it. There's three people I need to move in, which means, oh, god damn it, I went into the house, didn't I? Yes, I did. Well, there's stuff in here. Uh, take a picture of the bed. Uh, take a picture of the fruit. Nope. Okay. Boxes. Nope. Cat chair. Can't even take a picture of the chair. Alright. Whatever. Let's go out of here. Turn around. Move people in. Uh, Aunt Polly. Oh, wait. This place is so remote. I wish I had a cart to sell my goods from. And I don't have Mullane yet, so... I guess I don't need the extra house yet. I guess that's why I only got... So much. So she needs a cart before she'll move in. And carts start with C, so there we go, cart. And she needs that by her house. So we'll put that right out front for her. Now, if we go in here, move people in, and Polly. Nope, nope, do not return to the train. Maybe we head up here. 
it's still 50%. But, Adele and Polly both reside here. We just need to get Mulane living in here now. However, we also have to do some things called culture points. Culture points are for making the place look pretty, basically. Whether that means adding extra things onto houses or whatnot. But, as an example, we can make a pot torch. Place that down. Place it down right between the two houses. And now we have suddenly more culture. Yay! However, you can also make things to add onto houses as well. You can make a bench. Cart, I believe, adds culture points. Um, let's add the Furbit's house back in there, because it does actually help. Furbit's house is massive! You guys are so vain. I mean, have a massive house. I'll put you guys back over here. Can I not put you guys over here? That tree is probably in the way. <laughs> back somewhere else. Yep, there we go. Alright. And I know we need the other trees, so we'll put this down. We'll put this down over here by Gordon, because he likes trees. So we'll give him some extra trees. He lives in like a... Oh, look, we have 60 points now. Or 60% now, that would be because we got 30 culture points from... for Adele. Okay, now we just need to get 10 more. 20 more, technically, but we don't have, uh... We'll make two of these chimneys here. And we'll come give these... to the people that live in the houses. No, wait. There we go. There we go. That might actually be all we needed there. Nope. Not enough culture points. Close, but not enough. The river doesn't give us any, does it? It might. I don't think it does, though. Does it? Nope. Doesn't give us any. Okay. Yeah, we'll give we'll give Gordon a bench. Also, Gordon needs a, a pot torch to himself as well. Uh, we'll actually deal with decorating the town in a much later date, because I like to get everything in place first, then go through and just redecorate the whole thing, when I have the resources to do that kind of thing. I think this will give us some culture points as well, even though we already have it, have the 40, but we, who needs, who wants, who wants just the minimum, you know? You gotta have more than just the minimum. I believe this needs to be on the water, so we should be able to place it, there we go. We can place it at a skewed angle, maybe. Maybe? No, we can't. Okay. Place it, like, right over here, by the bridge. There we go. Now we have even more! But I want 50, because that's how much it takes total. Oh, I don't have a fire element. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna give you a nice light, but I can't. Uh, let's give you a shed instead. There you go. Yeah, you get a shed. Hell yeah, Gordon. Shed. Shed for Gordon. Where's the door on the thing? There it is. 48. That's not enough. Uh, we, can, we can make a fence. Do we have enough for fencing? One extra fence. I think this provides culture points. Where's the entrance to their house? We'll block them off completely. Whoop, wrong way. Oh, that doesn't actually give you any culture points. Oh! I have 70% now, because I got the 40 culture points there. Alright. Let's see here. What else can I make? Wooden gate. Make another bench. <laughs> uh, wooden 
wooden stand, wooden stairs. Not mo not a lot actually. I can't make much. Rocks may get in the way of building. No really. Let's see. Can I build a pot? Yes I can. Well, I think Adele should get a pot. She doesn't really have much to herself. There you go. She has a pot. And that's the 50 culture points. I believe that should be marked off now. Yep. Now we just need to get uh, Melane in here and do those two last things and we're done. So now there should have been a change in the future. Maybe something will happen. I wonder what could possibly happen. Delicious water. <clears throat> Maybe I'll go grind off camera to get the sword up to Malane's specs. Welcome. My stall is now open. Come in. Don't be shy. Yay! We have some red. Transforming badges in for the grand opening. Monster transforming badges. You'll buy one, won't you? I wonder if they could possibly help us talk to Amara to get his sap from it. You can't see my face right now, but it's very trollish. We just got some monster transformation badges. Better get one fast before it's too late. Hey look! Dark and indestructible coins! Hmm... Hamara Badge. A mysterious badge that lets you change into Hamara. And look! Gold paint! I wonder where those could possibly come in handy. Also, every single pair of clothing. Uh, the default clothing for Monica as well. Um, what do we have that we can sell for some monies here? Because we need some monies to get that Hamara Badge. And the rest of that stuff we don't need at the moment, but it'd be nice to have. Uh, we can still paint, but... Crunchy bread's only worth 30? That's bull. What about the stamina drink? That's worth 200, hell yeah! Eh, I can just make one. Yeah, it's a little bit of money, but it'll help. Barely use those. I do use those, though, so we'll sell those for more. Less. There we go. Hamara badge. So I, ho I had hoped you wouldn't see this earlier, but I actually moused over it. it was, uh, moused. The badge box. For clicking badges that transform you into monsters. Check badges. Hamara badge. Yep. Let's see. Turn into Hamara. Uh, well, obviously Max doesn't do that, but... Go to the character screen. Nope, 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 nope. Character screen. You can see that now a branch off of Monica is Monster Transform. So Monica can turn into a monster with the badge. So that's pretty cool. There should be a box around here somewhere. I don't know, maybe. Oh! I think this is Monica telling us what I just said. Max, listen. What? If I use this badge, I can transform into monsters. I can change myself into the Hamara monsters Jurak mentioned. Then we can mix in with them and maybe get our hands on that sun drop we need. Got it! Nice! Then we'll be able to make the flower bloom. So let's go to the forest floor where the Hamara monsters show up. Okay! Which, if you remember, is like the first one. So, yeah. I'm serious though, are there any boxes around here? I just want to check real quick. Just felt like checking. I think that's all of them though. Wait! There is one. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. You can get a center if you talk to a flower. Force Hamara monster, you know, use your badge to talk to it. If you got Hamara, you need a Hamara badge. Sometimes they tell some cool clothing. Sell them in clothing stores. Oh yes, there's a clothing store inside my nose. My right nostril is still empty. I'm looking for a tenant. I want this box. Thank you. Garnet. That is another one of the gemstones that you can get. 
Let's go upstairs and see what's upstairs. Up this very, very long ladder. Ladder. Looks like food to me. Hello there. Are you eating right? You won't grow big if you don't eat right. If you don't eat. So be sure to eat well, okay? And he sells food. Including... Da -da -da -da, chestnuts. Need one of them roast chestnuts. Which also heal you, by the way. He also sells bomb nuts. I don't know why he sells bomb nuts. And fishing bait. I don't know why he sells fishing bait either. But he sells all kinds of good stuff. Let's buy a couple things of bread. Nope. There we go. That's all I wanted. Oh god, look how little much money I have. Little much money I have. Some great... Sp that's like... That's like... I don't even know what that is. It's something. That's for damn sure. Actually, can I take pictures of stuff in here? Other than him. He just fouls you. Those are some tasty looking burgers that have simply a leaf in them. It's a burger with a, a piece of lettuce. And no meat. Or anything else. Just buns and lettuce. Sounds delicious. So, as you remember, I got that garnet. Which is in here somewhere. Where, I don't know. There it is. Deep wine red colored gem. Keeps the beast away. You can spectrumize it for chill, exorcism, and scale. So if you ever come up with something that needs all of those, go ahead and use that. Hmm. Anything need chill, scale, or exorcism? I have two things that need one. Those Monica weapons have more. Wait, that's a damn max. Nope. No one needs I either of those. Not enough to actually warrant using the garnet right now. I'm sure they need them in the long run, but right now they don't. <clears throat> so we'll just keep a hold of it for now. And really, it does give you 10 for one thing. It technically gives you a full 30 stats for only one synth point, which is amazing. Not as amazing as the diamond, which gives you a 5 to everything, but... That's a diamond, so... You know... Oh, this is very interesting. Very dark. So now we just need to get Mulane to move in. And we go to the dungeon. Let's go to the dungeon, shall we? After I get the sun drops from the Amara, I'm going to go get some water, and then we'll finish up doing the uh, Giorama for Sindane. So, since we need to level up Ma Monica's sword, might as well use Monica. And kill every living thing in here. That's a useful thing to get right off the bat. Oh, look, a Amara and a skeleton right next to each other. That's not as useful. I'm gonna have to kill you, I'm sorry, Hamara. I, pl I had planned on talking to you, but I'm gonna have to kill you. Wow, look, we're already over-leveled for this area, that's amazing. You missed? How the hell did you miss? I'm standing in front of you, not moving! So if you tap the R3 button with Monica, BAM! You turn to Hamara. Look, there's a Hamara over here we can go talk to. Hi, Hamara. I've been getting a lot of sun drops lately. Got so many that are coming out my ears. Take some from me, would ya? Here. Pain sun drop. Sewer rats are so simple-minded. All they need to be happy is a measly piece of cheese. Um, believe it or not, what the monsters say about each other is actually rather helpful. Uh, and you can get them to basically dish on other monsters what you need to turn into those monsters. Because as we're talking, as we are a flower right now, we can only have to talk to the other flower enemies. So, for example, we can only talk to Hamaras and, like, grass. So, it's a great look on their face when you do this. I can only imagine the look on their face when you do this and turn right back into them. Oop. And then get knocked down. He reacted a lot faster than I thought he would. Oh, look, level up. 
beast and flame and lightning. Let's get some beast up in that thing. We don't have anything that gives us beast, do we? Uh, I don't think this gives us beast. Chill, exorcism, and scale. Uh, earth? Smash. Thunder? No, thunder would do lightning, obviously. Hunk of cut No, why would that give us beast? Cheese? Damn it, I just gave Monica cheese. This gives us beast. We don't have any beast crystals, so we might as well use this. Look at that sun drop right there, that's amazing looking. Oh look, it's ready to build up. Shamshir. Is that the right one? I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Cha-ching! Distinctively curved blade. Easy to handle. So, if this wasn't enough to get uh, Melane to come with us, then that's crap. Also, now she has an awesome looking curved blade that has a green a green sword effect to it. So, since we're here, we might as well kill every single thing that we see. And get a scoop that I missed out on. Oh, really? I didn't even need to buy one. Dang! Get owned, plant dude. Get owned, plant dude. Yep. Totally just said that. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's smash this. I probably kill everything in here with just Monica's sword. No, wait, I wanted to kill them all with the sword. That might actually be the mission objective here. The sword just does so much damage. Smash all the rocks. You're a, bit, you're a bit too close there, Smiling Grass. Hey, let's go talk to the grass, shall we? How am I supposed to eat people when my jaws keep locking up on me? I believe they just say the same thing, yeah. You also, by the way, you can actually fight while you're like this. You can use your different attacks. So, yeah. I don't know why they call me grass. Man-eating flower sounds better to me. So yeah. I believe you can also open chests. No, you can't open chests. That's... Yeah. And then, turn back into Monica, and get some killing done. 